the menu. Cheese. Pizza is really out of this world. How tender it is. Hello and welcome to Rome. Join me on this incredible food journey through the Italy's capital city of Rome. Let's go. I'm on a mission here to try Al Antico Vinaio sandwiches. And this is not an easy mission because even some of the local people that I know never managed to try one of these sandwiches because the queue is always too long and some people don't want to wait for an hour to try these famous incredible sandwiches. So let's see if I'm going to be lucky today. The queue is here as expected. <laughs> Let's queue up and get a chance to try these sandwiches. The queue is moving relatively fast. I definitely hope it's worth the wait. Once you're inside, that smell of bread is just overwhelming. Ciao! Uh, uno uh, la Winter e uno la Dicembre, per favore. Ciao! Oh, una bolsa. Grazie. Ciao. Wow, a very successful mission. I managed to buy two sandwiches. I didn't want to make any commotion, so I just chose the ones on the offer, La Vinter y La Dicembre, 8 euros each. I think this is a great price, especially for a Rome city center. And let's see if they are up to the high. Okay, so two things about these sandwiches. First of all, they are made out of homemade bread and they are huge. That's the second thing. Okay, so one of them has a type of pancetta. Then, wow, a lot of cheese. There's some greenery and there's some spread inside. This one should have a Toscan prosciutto. And okay, again, some spread, some yellow spread as well. Because it was too crowded and I had to make my choice quickly. But let's start with the bacony one. Just huge, huge pile of bacon falling out with each bite. Uh, this is well worth the money. Excellent sandwich. This is an amazing sandwich and worth the money. Everything I like, the only drawback for me is that the bread is not warm. They didn't toast it, they didn't heat it up. Maybe if I told them so they would do it, but that place is just crazy busy. Mm. Okay, let's go with the second sandwich. Very nice sandwich as well, fresh ingredients, nice bread, but I do prefer the first one with the bacon. It's easier to chew, uh, there are more different ingredients inside, there's more taste to it. Mm. That cheese inside is quite good. Mm. How would I rate these sandwiches? So this one would be my definitive choice and this was the bang for the buck. Out of 10, I would give it score 8.5 out of 10. The other one, though it's nice, probably 7, 7.5. This one here was worth waiting, definitely. The bacon one. 
probably somehow you have to become regular in this shop and then to get maybe the best sandwich there possible but like this there's not much time to choose what you want to get when there is a huge queue of people waiting Anticavinaio sandwiches were great experience and after some sightseeing let's move on so see you at the next place on my way to the Trevi fountain I came across these two fantastic ice cream shops so enjoy the view come here guys come here guys come here Very hectic around the Trevi Fountain. I think it's time now to continue with the food adventure. Here I am in front of the Seu Pizza Illuminati, one of the best ranked pizzas in Rome. This is Neapolitan style pizza. The restaurant looks a little bit fancy for what I'm used to when going to Neapolitan pizzerias, but let's give it a try. Buonasera. Buonasera. This place usually needs reservation and uh, if you want to order something this is the menu they use this QR code menu and this is definitely the fanciest Neapolitan pizzeria that I was in the pizzas look amazing through Neapolitan but let's order something and try pink pizza I don't think I will be ordering pink pizza I ordered classic margarita pizza with buffalo cheese. Okay, so this has to be the most beautiful Neapolitan pizza ever. If pizza was judged solely by looks, these guys are the winners. There isn't much of a crunch on cornicione, on the crust, but it is full, full of air. And even when you take a slice, it's really, really light. The tomato sauce is San Marzano, so the premium tomato sauce from Campania. And it has that acidic taste, but also sweetness to it. This is a top ingredient. Mozzarella is also quite good. Uh, the dough in the middle is soft, but also a bit on the chewy side. Cornicione has slight crunchiness, but it's mostly soft full of air though. Basil is put afterwards fresh so that kind of creates a bit of change in taste than when you usually eat margarita. I've chosen bufalina or margarita pizza with mozzarella bufala on purpose because this is the basic pizza and here you can really test and taste uh, the dough, uh, these ingredients which make margarita great pizza and this pizza fulfills everything that Neapolitan pizza should. Now, is this the best Neapolitan pizza that I've eaten? Uh, not really. So I would place it uh, maybe on the third place. Uh, so far, there are at least two better Neapolitan pizza places that I've been to and enjoyed pizza. Table for one person, one euro fifty. This is normal in Rome. You can expect this in many places. Natia, this was a 
one liter of water, which I couldn't drink, of course, three euros. Buffalo at five euro, this should be at like a normal price, I think, for Rome. So there it is, guys. One of the best rated pizzeria in Rome and especially when it comes to Neapolitan style pizzas. I'm still in the same neighborhood, but now I'm headed to a traditional Roman restaurant making thin crust Roman style pizza. Here I am in front of the Ivo a Trastevere restaurant. This is a well-known local restaurant serving the best thin crust pizza as well as other local Roman foods. So let's go. <laughs> I decided to order pizza salsiccia and some fried croquettes. This is a famous steam crust Roman style pizza. The dough is very light and the crust is quite crunchy. So this pizza is really out of this world. You can see a bit of air in the dough, but the thing is it's soft in the middle. It's really crunchy here at the end. And this sausage here, homemade sausage, is for me the star of the show. An incredible pizza, a real thin crust, Roman style pizza, this is the place. If you are in doubt that you are in Rome, just look at all these motorbikes parked here. Just a few steps down the same street there is an incredible shop called Antica Caccio, selling Italian traditional cheese and dried meats. From Sicilian cheese, different pancettas, huge wheels of pecorino and everyone's favorite guanciale bacon. Our next and the last place is just across the river in the Stacho neighborhood, so let's get going. Here I am in front of Ristorane Iole, uh, La Cucina Romana di Nona, which means Grandma's Kitchen or Food for Grandma's Kitchen. This restaurant is famous for authentic Roman food, so let's go. Okay, we have the special today, our one starter, uh, the, uh, the name is uh, Carciofala Giudia, the deep fried artichoke. Uh, and two pasta special, uh, one fettuccine with uh, ragu of lamb, tomato and lamb, and uh, ragu of octopus. Uh, the octopus, uh, uh, fresh tomato, um, olives and cap. And uh, the second special, uh, we have the deep fried lamb with potato. It was a long walk from the city center, but I'm finally in Ristorante Iole and I also got briefed. There are some specials for this evening and I think I'm gonna go for fried artichokes this evening and fried lamb just to go with all things fried. This restaurant is located in Testaccio neighborhood. It's a bit far from the center, but here also tourists and locals come to eat. Oh, wow. Wow, this artichoke looks like a flower. First bite of the artichoke. Mm. Amazing looking artichoke. 
The petals are crunchy and full of taste, but the artichoke is so soft and juicy. Can I take your finish? Yes, yes, thank you. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. This dish speaks for itself. Crispy looking cotolette di agnello or lamb cutlets with some roast potatoes. I'm gonna add some lemon and this already looks like a feast. Mm. This lamb chop started to fall apart how tender it is. This just shows to you that the Italian food is not only about uh, pasta or pizza. These lamb chops are a next level dish. Excellent addition to these lamb chops. Just look at the color of this meat. Perfectly cooked lamb. And just another perfect popsicle. This was definitely among the two best meals I had since in Rome. Here is the price. I also got some discount, which is nice. Well, there you have it, guys. Ristorante Iole. A perfect food, not in the heart of the Rome, just near it. So you need to step out of the city center. But once here, you can enjoy this amazing food. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please like and subscribe and I will see you next time. All the best. Ciao. Ciao. Filmare un poco? Filmare? Yeah. Sì?